What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, I'm gonna go pick up a bunch of metal for the ramp truck. I'm also gonna be welding the cab on. It should be a crazy process, follow along. One of the parts that sucks about towing a trailer is going 55. It's like everyone around you is going so much faster. But we're chilling doing 55. I'm actually doing 60, I'm speeding, I'm breaking the law, don't tell anyone. Okay, so I ended up spending $997 on metals. It's all on shelves up there, a little focus. Throw it on the trailer, Sequoia, I'll tow it home. Still gotta stop by the welding supply store and get my gas and whatnot, but we're almost done. So this giant crane up here like moves all this metal around. It's super crazy to watch how it lifts it up and slides it over. Randy showed up. He works like right down the street from here. And so he just randomly showed up. He knew I was over here. But yeah, they're loading up all my metal right now. I'm super stoked. So Randy was nice enough to go ahead and get that filled up for me, the tank, because uh, it was right across the street and I was dealing with the trailer and trying to strap down all the metal. But it's kind of hectic, last minute cars are moving in and out, whatever. So anyways, I got it all loaded up and we are back home now. There's a 350Z, there's the Miata. But anyways, so I said it was 997 for all this metal and I didn't lie, it was. But only $797 for all the metal that I'm gonna use on the tow truck build. So that inch and a half DOM uh, 95 wall, that's for the 350, that uh, 22 gauge uh, cold rolled steel, that's for just sheet metal for like the 350 and just for other random stuff. And I also got more metal back here which is 12 gauge and that was for uh, just another project. So the only metal, for the, so the price of the metal for the tow truck was 797. I don't wanna lie to you guys on that one, but I'm back home now and I gotta unload this junk. I think I'll, I don't know, I'll have to somehow get Dave over here or something. Dave's pretty strong. <laughs> Thanks to Robbie. Thanks, Robbie. <laughs> he did this all with uh, no gloves on. His hands are black now. Mad man. man. Oh my gosh. Black. Trying to risk it for the biscuit. But uh, yeah, now I can get my neighbor's trailer back. And we got all the metal unloaded. Look at all this. My grandma's gonna be complaining. <laughs> Okay, back onto the cab. I got it fitting really, really, really good now. I mean, after test fitting it a million times, it's coming out really good. The roof line is like just about perfect. And I'm gonna get some self toppers and self top this all the way together and uh, bend some metal and just get it that much better to where it's just basically plug welds. But I had to make a, a template down here. As you can see, there's an eight inch vertical gap right there. It goes all the way across. So I made this guy out of cardboard, and this slides right up in there, and matches perfect, so I'm gonna cut it out of this, which is some 22 gauge cold rolled steel, and put it up in there, weld it, and be good to go. We're getting really, really close to welding this thing together. Uh, probably the next few clips you'll see me welding this together, and throwing some mud on it. you can call me cutting, or a mystery extravagant, cause I'm getting my money, when my doors are swinging, it's like a bird on wheels. Okay, so here's the piece all cut out. And I went ahead and cut this metal in half just because it was a 4x10 sheet and it was like so much to work with and hard to move around. So this should make it a little bit easier. Okay, I had to tune up the piece a little bit from the template, but fits really, really snug back there. It's got uh, two tech screws holding it in right now. But I'm about to pull it out, prep the area behind it, and then probably drill some holes in the front, front of this piece and uh, plug weld it on. I would like to get one of those air ones, but I don't have a compressor. And my issue is, I really, 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 really want to buy a compressor, but we don't have 220 at my house. We only have what, 110 or whatever. And so I don't want to like waste my money getting a little 110 compressor when I really need a 220. So I don't know, eventually I'll probably get an electrician out here to figure that out, but uh, it's really expensive. But yeah, so I guess I'm, I, like I said, I'm probably have to drill some holes in this or figure something out. Also gonna draw a line on the bottom right here. I already have this down to metal over here, but where exactly I'm gonna be welding onto the bottom. Okay, so I just started putting these self tappers or textures, whatever I call them, all the way in right here. And as you can see, I closed that gap tremendously. Tremendously? I don't know how to say that. Tremendously. Tremendously. Anyways, I closed this gap up, and uh, what I'm gonna try to do with the Bondo is bring it so it's flat with this, obviously, and then have it just you know, smoothly transfer to this one. Cause I had to do a lot of bending. So obviously this is 
This is not exactly straight, but we'll get it as best as we can. I can't believe how much I got this to tuck in up here. So you see there's a little gap right here, got like four fingers through there. But it was like this side, a huge gap that you could fit your hand through. So I closed that up pretty good by stretching the metal. It's really small actually. So I gotta make a little patch for that guy. And as you can see all these soft timers in, a million of these things. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of work to get it to where it's at. I know it probably doesn't look the prettiest. But it's just a budget tow truck. But I'm still gonna try to get it nice. Another issue is this bottom piece right here. I cut off a lot extra because there's look, there's so much like jankiness and weird like I don't know what they cut this thing with originally from the from the RV factory because it was cut like all kinds of crazy angles and it's all mangled and jagged and they didn't do a very good job. Anyways, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut this side as well. I put a few just to hold this in a place so when I was hitting that side around over there, I wasn't moving the whole entire cab over because that would have sucked. Got a few self tappers on the top. Two over here, four, six, eight, 10, 12, something like that. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this whole side, which actually takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing these clamps. These are just some like um, auto body clamps I got from Harbor Freight. I've actually been using this one a lot. It's a big son of a gun and I'll put it I'll put it like all the way around the door and I'll squeeze it from the inside. And then I put the screw in while it's being squeezed and everything's pushed super tight into place. Everything is exactly where I want it to be right now and it fits really nicely. I also want to show you guys how nicely this door closes now. Before when you close it, the whole body and cab would move and watch. It's like super solid now and that's just with these, these screws in here. It closes so nice like not all gush, like sheet metal and stuff like it was before. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, back to it. I keep you in my realm. I keep you in the sound. I keep myself up high because I bought a Okay, I'm just gonna switch the wire in my MIG to a little bit thinner stuff. I had some 30 in there and I know that'd be a little much for this, this thin sheet metal. So we're gonna go with a little, a little bit smaller wire. It'd be ideal to go like 023, but couldn't find any today, so I got 25. Excuse my welder, it's pretty loud, but I got the whole thing uh, all tacked up. As you can see, I just went along and did some tacks on it. That's all I really needed, but I'm going super overkill and putting like a full blown pass on it. And so yeah, I'm making this thing super strong. Uh, it really doesn't even need that second pass, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyways. I'm gonna take all these bolts out, all these self tappers out, I mean, and uh, fill all those holes as well. Hood, you smoking, just listen. It don't matter your race, just take the L to the face. And we all gon' rock, gotta keep the pace. And them girls gon' twerk because the vibe is popping, as well as the bottles. Keep it rockin', no stopping. At the Motel 8, we can park out front. Yeah, the flow is anetic, it's something to get with front. Cause I'm super cut to be a list of being around the doses. And rap ferocious, I've been coaching the league. I'm bobbing. I'm bummed that it's about to get dark, it's almost 7 already, but. There it is, fully welded. It came out so good. Oh, I love it. Anyways, I gotta make two more templates. Two little, oh, probably four total, but definitely two. If you can see that blue tape is right there, and there's one on the other side. Gotta do those. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about these bottom pieces yet. I'll figure it out down there. But uh, yeah, this came out good. These welds came out super sick, and it's uh, super solid. Okay, it's the next day now. I don't know if I showed you guys this last night, but I went ahead and ran tacks all the way down this one. And I took all the screws out of it. You see these little holes going all the way up it. And accidentally, I did something stupid. I accidentally uh, welded this one. Oh, focus. Welded this guy in, so I gotta cut that out really quick. But other than that, it looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the welder on and do like two more passes all the way down it and get super, super strong. I know this is totally overkill, but uh, I'm gonna keep this thing forever and I want it to be super solid because there's no like inner structure really because I cut all the inner structure out of it. And so normally when you put a panel on, it's like going to some kind of like inner structure type thing that's tying into something. This isn't really tying into anything. So I, I figured I'm gonna make this thing super strong. 
dub it, then dub it Blood, sweat, and tears, homie, I made of it Finish the class if you think nothing about it Tell him the grandpa, you don't know nothing about it We're Just drilling some holes so I can plug well this panel Right onto that section of it and as you can see, I finally patched that and I have the whole roof welded on. So this is pretty much one of the last few things I actually got to weld on. I'll put that up in there and I'll weld it top and bottom. And then there's a few random pieces on the inside. Bottom, I've been saying it, you was playing him. Now you know you can look all over, but you, you'll never find a like mine. Okay, it is all welded up now. As you can see a fat bead going all the way across there. Not really, it's just a bunch of tacks. But I did throw my driver's seat in there. Man, it's really dark. My driver's seat, there you go. You can see it now. And it fits perfectly, right? Lines up with all the holes and everything. And it's super solid. Watch when I close this door. Super strong and it's all ready to go. As far as like welding and stuff, I think the welding majority of it. Welding is done. I don't know. I might still have to weld a few little things here and there. I have to weld Robbie, but I'm not sure. Got to do some some welding on his vape. What do you need done to that thing? Extension. Extension for the tank or something like that. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, for the cab majority, uh, like section of this RV, it's all welded. I think. I've done so much welding across the whole entire thing. I actually went through this whole entire tank of uh, shielding gas and I'll show you how much wire I went through. I went through an insane amount of wire. This was a brand new wire, uh, spool of wire when I started and look at it, it's almost gone. So yeah, I'm really excited to get that out of the way. It's really solid now, the whole cabinet is really solid. I am still gonna have to weld this whole bed together which is gonna take even longer because uh, this is there's 200 feet, feet worth of metal right here. 200 feet. And that's gonna get welded with that uh, 030 wire and I gotta get more shielding gas. And yeah, it's looking good. I'm really excited with the way it turned out. I'm really excited how strong it is. It's like super duper strong. The seats fit in, so that's all good stuff. Uh, I gotta do a bunch of body work now. And I'm gonna go ahead and grind off all the rest of this paint probably on this side and over here just so when I am applying the filler, I don't have to worry about touching the paint. I could just get on nice metal that's all roughed up and it'll stick because I don't want my Bondo falling off you know what I'm saying so yeah you can see the roof line I don't know if I ever showed you guys the roof line yet but the roof came out dialed honestly there's like a natural flange right here from this old roof had like a little dent in it or whatever a little divot in not a dent but yeah I got that all welded all the way across and I can't see light through anywhere so that's sick oh also if you guys saw this, look how good these turned out. These turned out so sick because there's a gap right there. Filled those. <laughs> Sunshine's over here. Hey, Sunshine. Hey, puppy. She's a cute puppy. But thanks for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching. Also, the next video should be out tomorrow or the next day, and it's going to be a really good one. So stay tuned. Beep, 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 beep.